one rule solve for y. Okay, so basically we want to get y by itself. So in this case, x plus y equals 5. We're going to subtract x from both sides. Boom, boom. And then we get y equals negative x plus 5. Now look, notice I'm putting the x term first. That's usually key. Teachers want to see that. So if you get something like y equals 16 plus 4x, dude, we want to write y equals 4x plus 16 or just put the x thing first. Next example, we've got this negative x equals 4y plus 8. We're going to solve for y. Now, I'm going to do something funky here. I'm just going to flip everything because um, I want usually y on the left-hand side. That's another thing, too. Teachers want usually to see y on the left-hand side. So what I'm going to do now is like, okay, I just want y. I'm going to do the bullseye method. You guys already know this, so I'm going to get um, rid of that plus 8 first by subtracting from both sides. So I'm left with 4y on the left-hand side, the right-hand side. I'm going to put negative x minus 8. Again, variables before constants, typically. Now I want to solve for 1y. I don't want 4y. So I'm going to divide both sides by 4. Boom, boom. And I get y equals negative x minus 8 over 4. But look, this can simplify. And typically, teachers are going to want to separate the numerator. So that would be negative x over 4. And I don't want to say minus 8 over 4. I'm just going to simplify that to minus 2. That looks like an approximately two. But basically, we're saying um, y equals really just this last part here, the negative x over 4 minus 2.